Welcome to Conversations with Mr. A. This is your host, Anthony Abastella, school counselor here at Chimicum Junior and Senior High. I'll be interviewing students, staff, community members, outside community members, hoping to provide them a voice to share their perspectives and insights. Welcome to another edition of Conversations with Mr. A. This is your host, Anthony Abastella. This week, I've got junior student Julia Bretwig here with me. Thank you, Julia, for coming in. Yeah, of course. Uh, happy to be here. So, just want to check with you. How's the school year been for you up to this point? It's been pretty good. Um, I feel like this is my best school year so far, just um, academically and socially, just um, making relationships with people and just branching out, being more confident. Um, I've involved myself a lot more in just clubs and just really everything this year because I don't really want to be quiet anymore. I kind of just, you know, want to be myself and see where that takes me. Can you elaborate a little bit? You mentioned uh, this has been your best school year up to this point. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit? Yeah, um, I feel like uh, my attentiveness has just been at its best. Last year I did all online for my sophomore year, which went well, but I just was missing the social aspect of it, which I definitely needed. Um, just to be around peers and people I grew up with, and I just missed everyone. So just being back is just changed my mindset a bit on things and just let me branch out and just do things that I definitely wouldn't have done before. So, How has it changed your mindset? I am more willing to do things. I used to be a really shy person, which I'm still kind of quiet now, but... I'm not afraid to speak up for things like that I believe in or want to do or just, you know, giving credit to other people that deserve credit and stuff like that. But, yeah, I feel like it's just made me a better person, definitely. Okay. One thing getting to know you that um, I know you've had some challenges and adversities in your life. Yeah. Um, would you be willing to share a little bit of what you've, uh, what you've been through, what you've done? Yeah. Um, when I was younger, my dad unfortunately passed away which changed a lot of things in my life um it made my mom a single parent which a lot of people may not realize the stress that puts on kids because you're still the kid you don't really expect the kid to think that they should be raising themselves or even just helping their parent because you know they're young and I was eight so you're you know in third grade and it's, you're just young still you don't really know life and trying to navigate that without a like just positive male figure in your life is definitely difficult everyone needs both parents whether you have them right now or not you just need the best they can be and when something like that happens I don't expect any parent to be okay I mean they just lost their ex-husband or husband or whoever it was, you know, and that just, it's a lot, so it definitely put a lot on me and my sister, but as I got older, um, I just started to process it more and stopped trying to push feelings away, because, you know, there's a better time, there's not really any better time to deal with grief or anything, it's always going to be there, it's just, it, it's better some days and it's worse others, basically, so... What's helped you through? Um, I've always kind of been kept to myself, so I feel like me and my sister a lot because she dealt with a lot of the same issues I was but three years older. So it just seeing that perspective of what my life could be with her, you know, being three years older and then what, it, you know, I could change about it and just learn the benefit of being the younger sibling, you your older sibling kind of <laughs> does everything first and you can le learn from that. But you get along yeah. with your sister? Okay. Yeah, I get along with her good. We had rough patches like any sisters do, but we definitely are the, have the best relationship right now. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. One thing as I've gotten to know you this year, I've always respected is your uh, work ethic. I, I've seen you, you have a drive, you push it. I, I think that's totally awesome. I was just gonna ask you, what drives you? What motivates you? Um, when I see you work hard and push hard, what, what's your driving force? 
Um, I like the quote that this too shall pass. Um, with anything good or bad, I feel like just live in the moment, do what you can. Be young is a big thing. A lot of people want to grow up really fast because the um, advantages you have and just things you could do, but you can never get your youth back. You're always going to get older, you know, and I feel like that's a really big thing to, you know, put into perspective for people is just be your age. Don't, don't try to get a job too fast or work as work so much when that might be what you think you need at the moment, but you're not gonna, you will regret it just because you, you don't, you don't have time for other things. And, but I feel like what drives me is just what I want. I want a good future and I just want to be comfortable living financially in, uh, I mean, all other areas too, but yeah, I feel like just do your best, try to figure out who you are and put put yourself first before anyone else, you know. Even if it's selfish sometimes, you kind of have to be selfish when it comes to yourself. So, yeah. Putting boundaries. Yeah. Taking care of things. Um, you mentioned that this has been your best year and uh, this school year. I was just going to ask for you, well, what are some of the positive, the most positive things? And, okay, I'll be real here. What are some of the most ch- some of the challenges you faced? Yeah. Um, the positives, I feel like, are definitely the new, the, just the counseling department and the office people, ladies. Um, b- love both of them. I mean, Marilee has been here for forever, and Cameron, she's always so welcoming and nice. And I feel like coming into school and that being your first, you know, um, experience or just interaction, it sets your day off good. and. Just yeah, I feel like I've I've heard so many good things about the counseling department and the office ladies from everyone. Like not a bad thing at all. And having good support, especially at a small school and uh, where a large percentage of the school is definitely you know in poverty and stuff like that, it helps to not feel judged or anything. And I think Jerome is he? The, I think he's the guidance counselor or. You know, yes, yeah, but he definitely is a good advocate for just anyone struggling with something that's not just academics or something like that. Because I don't know, he he listens very well too, and he gives us you know the best advice he can, and always good attitude from everyone, which is really nice. It can show that even if you're having a bad day, you know, it's not everyone's fault. So, yeah. Okay, um, so next year you're going to be a senior. Yeah. <laughs> what are you hoping to accomplish for uh, the upcoming year? Well, I'm hoping to get good grades next year. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm going to college, so I'm taking a few classes that are college requirements for, like, universities. Um, my schedule is pretty full, so I just – I don't really know yet. I like to take things day by day, but – I know I'm going to try my best next year and just do what I can and, you know, not make my life too busy but still have fun with people and just, you know, make yeah. school a priority, though, because it's definitely a priority. Do you know which colleges you might be thinking of? Um, I like Western and just, like, Eastern Washington over there, you know, but Washington definitely. Okay. So, yeah. One thing I remember, uh, we had a past conversation about this, is you told me when you were younger, uh, maybe the junior high years, uh, you were a fan of school. You kind of yeah, hated school. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and, I, and I was just wondering, what would you tell our younger classmen, 7th, 8th graders, maybe some of the ninth graders who may have the attitude of, okay, ah, you know, don't want to come, skipping classes. What advice would you give them? Because um, from what I've gathered, your mindset has changed a lot from back then to now. Yeah, definitely. Um, I would say, I know it might be blunt, but you have to go to school whether you like it or not, To be, I mean, honestly. So if you just try and start your day with saying, it's going to be a good day, you know, I'm, I'm going to do well, I'm going to meet people if you're new or something like that, and just positives. Don't start your day with, I hate today, you know, I don't want to wake up. It's I, It really just sets your, your mindset off and just... Yeah, it's not good, but you have to go to school. It it does suck sometimes, even now for me, but, you know, when you make friends and when you get into higher grades, it gets 
a little bit easier, I feel like, mentally, because you just are so used to school and have the experience. Academically, it, it'll always get harder, just because, you know, you're getting older and classes get harder, but it's definitely manageable if you just try and stay positive, which is not easy to do. I don't expect someone to just change their mindset overnight. It took me a long time. I just really focused on it, and I know what I wanted. I didn't turn back on it, so just stick to what you want. I feel like that's a big thing. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, thank you. So you mentioned Jerome. Um, I was wondering, uh, here at the school or just even in life, any other adults that uh, has helped you a lot or that you've really connected with that's helped you along the way? Um, I don't have too much family. I just, I've had a lot of, like, disease and stuff in my family, which is unfortunate, but, um, honestly, no, not too much. I kind of just have my people, and my sister's friends, actually, they helped me a lot, too, because they always, my sister always took me, you know, had tagged along with her everywhere, so they really got to know me, and knew our life and stuff like that and my sister's a really generous person too like she'd give the shirt off her back for someone and that showed me that you know you don't always have to be so guarded when it comes to people you know just you can open up and everyone doesn't have to like you that's a big thing don't everyone's not gonna like you regardless you don't like everyone so it's just you know (laughs) but yeah any staff or um, teachers that's uh, helped you along the way here? Um, I feel like there's always been teachers that, you know, notice if you're having a bad day or anything. I, I haven't been really been the one to open up about things because, I don't know, I, when I was younger I always felt like my problems were an inconvenience or there was already so much going on. I just didn't want to put the stress of me on top of, you know, everything else. But... Miss Corson has always been such a great teacher. I mean, from once I started, I had her first class in eighth grade. Um, she just, she's so kind, and she advocates for different cultures, which I do like, because it just brings a different perspective than, you know. Uh, we're not very diverse here at our school and in our town. Um, so I don't know, it's just nice seeing and being shown different like parts of the world and just, how other people live and work it's not it's not like here (laughs) I mean a lot of other places we're lucky to have what we have and we're also unlucky in a lot of ways but yeah the world is definitely it's not a great place but it's not horrible there's there are good people in the world and surround yourself with those people definitely because they're I mean are who is going to get you where you want to be what would you tell a newbie, whether it's a <laughs> staff, whether it's a student that's come here from other places? I think I would tell them, try to get to know everyone, which is scary because you're new and you just have that, you know, a little bit of insecurity of just whatever it is. Um, but put yourself out there. Don't set boundaries, but also be yourself again, and, you know, just... Don't hide your personality, because if you do, and then when it comes out, people are like, kind of like, who is this? Because you just, that's not who you are usually, but that is who you are to you. So, yeah, just be yourself. Don't be ashamed of things, you know, but carry humility, because that's a big thing. Um, But yeah, just take it slow, but also, you know, just go with the flow of things. Okay, let's have some fun. Uh, this one is just a word association. As okay. we do this at the very end. So what I'm doing is I'll share one or two words. Uh, just tell me the first thing that comes into mind. Uh, the first word I had in mind, pickles. <laughs> well, let me see. Is it like a sandwich type of thing? Anything, or a- a- Anything, pickles in general. Well, I know you don't like them, so Ooh, no. yeah. <laughs> no, well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> So, yeah, Mr. A hates pickles. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about uh, paintings? I love to paint. That's paintings and the sky. I feel like that's... Do you have any favorite artists? Do you have any artists? I could not tell you a name at all right now, but 
there are a lot of I like Van Gogh. I mean, that's a very common one. So, okay. yeah. Uh, gifts. Um, I'm a big gift giver. I like to do that a lot. I feel like that's my love language. I like to show appreciation for people through things that they like and that I've listened to them, you know, tell me and stuff like that. I feel like that shows, like, that you're listening to them and, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Work ethic. Hmm. <laughs> um, I feel like try your best. I feel like that's the words that come to my mind because you're not always going to like your job, but you can always change it, and that's a big thing. Um, but, yeah, just try your best. Try to make work fun and positive, you know, just because it helps everyone and your coworkers and stuff like that. Yeah. But, yeah. How about hygiene? have good hygiene <laughs> that's a big thing to me um but yeah I feel like just have good hygiene I don't know <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay romantic movies I don't like romantic movies to be honest they're just not very true okay I just uh, let's flip the coin how about horror movies I like horror movies except when it's ghost stuff because I don't like ghosts I don't know who knows they could be real Okay. Um, action movies? I like action movies, definitely. Um, like like Marvel and stuff like that. I feel like that's action. Yeah. Kind of. Oh, yeah. Very much yeah. an action movie. Um, rap music. Love rap mu- music. One of my favorite types of music. Who's your favorite artist? Uh, I have a bunch. I couldn't give you one. But I like like older rap music like Tupac, Wu-Tang Clan. I know there's some. Dr. Dre and Ice Cube. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's flip the coin. Disco music. Oh, I don't listen to that much disco music. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. 80s rock? I like 80s rock. I feel like that's my mom's type of music, definitely, so I grew up on listening to that kind of music. Okay. I have a soft, uh, soft music, like soft romantic songs. So yeah. Like- I like a few of them. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's for the moment type of thing, not just like a everyday listen, you know. Yeah, I like music a lot. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So um, last question is, any final things you want to tell our listeners out there? Any final words? Um, don't try to be someone else. Don't try to look for yourself in other people because you're not going to find it. You are who you are. We're all unique and own it i love it thank you so much for julia for coming i really have enjoyed having you yeah of course and that concludes this week's edition of conversations with mr a just wanted to thank julia for the wonderful interview great person really see a lot of great things in her future it was definitely a pleasure to do the interview with her stay tuned for more episodes with conversations with mr a thank you for listening